Hello, it's Gav here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, uh, I'm going to rehouse. Um, if you've seen my t Stormy, I did the big build in the big white enclosure, uh, the vivarium. I can no longer fit that into my collection, so I didn't want to get rid of my t Stormy because it's a female. So very, very happy with that one. So I managed to swap that enclosure with a big exoteria from Al from Al's Arachnids, a friend of mine. So he's now got that enclosure, which he's going to do a future video for his blondie, I believe. Um, so I'm just going to set this girl here up in the big exoterra. So we could put her in. Obviously, she's raised her abdomen there. She's a little bit stressed because I normally just leave them well alone. Um, but we'll get her in and we'll set up her enclosure. And that'll be that one for this video. So let's crack on with it. OK, so first thing first, substrate. I'm not doing a bioactive setup in this one here, so I'm just going to get this one settled in. So she's got a space and then I'll adapt it and change it as we go along. She'll probably dig right down here. Put my skull back in. in here for humidity. Okay, so let's get her in. That'll do for now, it's quite nice. Let's get this beauty in. There she is, my female tea stormy, absolutely beautiful. See if I can just get her to walk straight in. Oops, kicking some hands. Can 
So she is all in. And I think you can see the colours there coming through with the reddish. Absolutely beautiful. So what I'll do is I'll try to see if she's hungry now as well. More than likely she won't be, but we will try. Nope, well she's not going to take but she's all in so we'll let her settle and go down in there. So that's my uh, tea stirmy, Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. Thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, do subscribe to the channel, please leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next one.